It's the PacWest Spotlight as we catch up with a couple of sisters from the Douglas College Royals women's volleyball team. Hello, Lauren. Hello, Ryan. How are you? Good. Hello, Talia. Hi, how are you? Good. This is exciting. So your first year in the PacWest, your sisters, we should get that out of the way. Make sure everybody knows that you're sisters. Lauren, you're a year older than Talia. What's it like being teammates for the Douglas Royals? Lauren, let's start with you. It's it's fun being teammates. Yeah, uh, as soon as we got the opportunity to play each other, I think we were both pretty excited about it. Um, I feel like we complement each other well. I wouldn't say we're like super similar, even though we're sisters. I think we're like pretty different players, but uh, each and every game, I think we bring something different. So I don't know, it's fun just getting to play off of each other and like build each other up in practices and then get to come home, be sisters, do all that fun stuff, yeah. It's good. Is there a healthy competition, Talia, between the two of you? Are you are you butting heads on the floor? I wouldn't say butting heads. Definitely healthy competition, though. I think we push each other in a good way. I think we always want to one-up each other, but obviously in a healthy way. Because yeah. we bring out stuff from each other. Yeah. Did it take, Lauren, did it take used to, to getting back on the floor? You didn't play last year, neither did you, Talia. I believe you guys didn't play last year. Lauren, it would have been your first year at Douglas last year, but COVID kind of put a, a damper on, on that. Did it take time getting used to the college game, the Pac West level? It was definitely like a change. I mean, I think for everyone after like a year of having a break, it's hard to go from like practice mindset and like it, it kind of felt long during that time. I think it's difficult mm -hmm. to like hold on to like your purpose as a player and kind of your goals when you have no competition to like look forward to because when I played high school, I feel like I was always just like looking forward to like the next tournament and like each practice, I was just thinking about that, but it was obviously a switch and I had to like learn to just practice uh, about like getting better just personally and like challenging my, myself, not just like against other teams. So it definitely was a change, but I found that like visualizing and like thinking about Packers games going into the summer and stuff like that was a, like a good help towards getting used to it and getting back to playing in games but the transition wasn't too bad and I don't know I think I was just really excited so that just makes it that much easier yeah I'm just like I'm happy to be here so let's play you know? did you guys play in the backyard or on the beach or anywhere you could at least the two of you were in your own bubble I would imagine being sisters so did you get a chance to play somewhere other than in a gym we we spent a lot of time working out like in our garage because yeah. we couldn't go like any gyms or anything so like we had a few dumbbells and we'd like use like resistance bands we do some like hill sprints up the hill <laughs> down the street so just kind of working with what we could with each other yeah Tilia let me ask you this one what about academically you go from high school to college now it's it's a pretty intense pack by schedule as well with practices and workouts and class and how how did you feel that transition from high school academics now college academics and now being a college student athlete I was a little nervous. It's definitely different. Like you have to be good at like time management, which I struggled with, but I guess I'm working on that now. It's just like, yeah, finding that time to get your studies in is kind of difficult for me at least. Um, it's been good so far though. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys in the same program? Yeah. yeah General we're... studies. Yeah. You just can't get away from each other. <laughs> no, we even had a class together last semester, which was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so we're now here at the break. We're going to go into the second half of the season. What's that going to be like? What do, the Royals are sitting in first right now in the Pac West. Talia, what do you guys want to do? Obviously, you want to win and do better and progress and that kind of stuff. But is there, there parts of your game specifically that you want to grow and get ready for a, a playoff run? Um. Sorry, could you repeat the question? <laughs> Lauren, were you listening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was listening. <laughs> so hit me with that. What, what do you guys want to accomplish individually, I guess, going into the second half and, and hopefully a long playoff run for the, your team? I can start. Um, I think personally, I think we do the best as a team and like also just myself when we're just worried about like what's happening on our side. So I think going into like the second half of the season, it's like, of course, we want to, like, stay on top and, you know, like, keep that number one spot. But it's also just about, like, playing the same game and, like, competing the same each time. 
that just comes from, yeah, like, we know what to do on our side. doesn't matter who our opponent is. We're just going to play the same game, play it like we know we can. Yeah. Is there a cat walking around there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lauren, how about you? Or pardon me, uh, Talia, how about you? What, what do you want to work on in your game specifically in the second half? Um, personally, like, I guess, like, as a, as a rookie, seeing how, like, how I've been playing so far on the team, like, I'm, like, I'm high on the stats, I guess. <laughs> so, like, I think personally, like, I, I want to try and stay at that level because I think I can at, at like, the um, college level. So I think that's a good question. I would imagine you earn respect right away, not only with your teammates, but even across the league, other coaches looking at you both offensively. Like, okay, these two girls, they can play. They, they've got some skill. Do you feel you've earned that respect already in the first nine matches? I think so, yeah. yeah. We've had some pretty good games, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're just looking to get better each time. So just competing with ourselves, trying to get better. Yeah. Do you make New Year's resolutions, either one of you? I haven't made one yet. No. No, we're, we're focused on Christmas. That's an after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much for doing this. Happy holidays. And we'll see you on the court, hopefully, uh, in January. Thank you so much. Thank you.